beginning of a new month. Here we go. Hello everybody and welcome to another weight loss video, um, month five. Now, four, the 12 stone and four and a half pounds, which means two pounds lost in April. <sighs> a bit more of a surprise, I wasn't expecting to be that low. But that's the starting point for my break to Dubrovnik, which actually I've been on. Um, I'm not going to go too much into it just now, but you are about to see what the weigh-in is on Friday the 10th of May, which is the next weigh in for me to see how much the difference is. So 12 stone, four and a half pounds is what I ended up at the beginning of May. But let's see <laughs> what happened then and then I'll explain what happened a bit more after that. Oh dear, that's bad. Wow, that was an interesting weigh in this morning. If that's right, that's six and a quarter pounds that I have um, <laughs> uh, gained. Um, I think the last time I was that heavy was the beginning of March. Wow. But I suppose let's look at the positives first of all. Some food that was really stunning in, in there. There was a beef risotto that I had in a Mediterranean restaurant, which was kind of Michelin star style, which was fantastic. Um, there was uh, the Bosnian kind of local traditional meal, uh, chevapi, I think it's I think that's how you call it, chevapi, something like that. These are little sausage fingers, and what they tend to serve it with is a, is a side of grated onion and uh, pita bread, and um, a couple of variations of that I had on holiday, and the, the one that was... Well, standard fare is the one I had in Mostar in Bosnia. Um, but there's lots of food that I had. Two meals a day. Two proper meals a day. Proper portions. Um, plus dessert. Plus large breakfast. It's buffet breakfast. So you had continental meats. You had cereals. You had fruit. You had breads of various types and croissants. So you filled your, you filled your belly every day. Um, Clothing-wise, everything just about fitted. Um, it was just about right. I mean, most of the stuff I was buying was effectively still for a 32 waist and I wasn't really concerned because I was still fitting into stuff, but to come back and have six and a half, six and a quarter pounds isn't good. But now the rest of the month is focusing on getting back down to 12, four and a half and even lower if I can. And it's just gone back to bean counting, which I've started again today. Um, and we'll continue to carry on now until I get down to 12 stones. So the next aim is, of course, get band down to 12 from 12, four and three and a quarter, 12, four and a half rather, and then get down to 12 stone and then get down to 11 and a half and then get down to 11. So basically the target now is for when I have my time off and go to the wedding of my cousin in July, I want to be 11 and a half stone. So that's my aim. That's my new target, 11 and a half stone. By the time I get to my cousin's wedding in July. So I've got two months to get a stone off. I know I can do that. Because I just about did that in January and February. Body maybe resets now. Of the routine I've got. Hopefully I'll start burning off a bit more and a bit quicker. And I'll be able to do that and increase the steps. Speaking of steps. That's the one thing that has worked. But I think with all the extra calories. It's not really been a benefit. My average step count at the moment is about 10,000 steps every day. Because uh, we did a lot of step walking on there so it's not as bad as it could have been i could have been a lot heavier for six pounds in a week we'll see but yeah now it's just a case of going back to the ta the routine back to eating with controlled ways as i was before start building the fitness up a bit more and get ready for the reenactment season which is the next big test really so no more cheat days this month um i probably will have a cheat day sometime in june but it's cheap two week is gone so so all the cheat stuff is gone now it's just a case of focusing and batting down the hatches and trying to get as much off in the next 20 days as i can to the end of may he's bunny dreaming So 
So I'm bunny sitting again. Um, Sebi's in the corner under the table. I think he's just been bunny dreaming, which is really cute. Um, it's been a, let's just say this is a peeing out month <laughs> for sure. Um, I think I am losing a bit. I haven't weighed myself yet. I'll do that tomorrow morning, but it's been okay. It's been all right. I, I wouldn't say it's been the best situation for me when it comes to weight loss this time just trying to get the everything sorted so yeah this month's been a bit iffy i think you know i didn't realize how big a trend it was but when the video came out um last week as it is now um andrew commented again and he said it's okay to have a month of not losing weight because it gives you a refocus or have a time of not losing weight gives you a refocus and I've been trying but it's just it's difficult to get back into the routine again it's been a kind of a bit of a stressful week with all the sorts of things and things that have been sorted at work and really and related stuff that started kicking now as well so it's it's not fun um I can't complain I really can't um I mean 12 10 is what I end 12 10 and a half is what I ended up with after Dubrovnik if I can get anywhere close to 12 and a half by the end of the month I will be happy with that because now that's me going back again so it's going to take me a couple of months to get back to where I was but do you know what I don't mind it um it's nice to have a little break of sorts to do this it's just now just trying to get back into a routine to do it so another couple of weeks um of this month so we'll see what happens and um hopefully by the time the end of the month comes I'm kind of you know, happier and back on track again. We'll see. Okay, here we go. Let's see how I'm getting on getting back down the weight. Twelve, six and a half. Okay. So there we are. Twelve stone six and a half pounds. Quite impressive to get down to that weight considering I was 12, 10 and a half or 10 and three quarters um, on the 10th of May. So, in just 19 days, I've lost four pounds. But this video is kind of unorganized and not being created properly and done right. Just like this month, I mean. Yeah, um, it's one of these things where cheat month has kind of knocked me for six and I've only just got back into doing things the way I was. I'm back into the routine and that's why the weight's starting to collapse again. But it's a good impetus because it means I've got something to start with again, a starting point to work with again, and hopefully it carries on. Next month is a bit more interesting. Green Atmos season starts, I've got two weekends away at historical sites um, and they tend to be junk food weekends so um, we'll see how the calorie count goes for them but it could be a little bit way wayward um, I don't think I'll be doing a just one cheat day a month thing until July so next month's going to be a challenge uh, but I'm back on the road again and that's it for now um, of course we'll start again next month uh, next video is um, in four weeks time second Sunday of the month no five weeks time second Sunday in July now as you've noticed maybe on the channel with other bits and pieces the, the schedule has changed a little bit um, I'll give more information about that on the channel update about what's happening and why but next week is a holiday vlog again this time I'm off to the Alafiti Islands just north of Dubrovnik and that's um, a video from that little trip um, beautiful 16th century sailing ship we can start the sailing ship that was used to sail down these islands which which is gorgeous um, and I hope you can join me for that there is a game structure but it's not until the 26th of June uh, just filming and everything else the way the reenact was going um, but yeah no apart from that um, thank you very much guys for watching leave a comment down below how you think I'm doing what's your experience of weight loss at the moment are you still doing it even six months down the line nearly let me know. But until next time, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you later.